hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to my YouTube channel. As a Trek Cloud Surfer here, ready to bring you a match from the EGC TV's The Elite Classic. They also catch cast these matches live on Twitch, Saturdays and Sundays, I also cast and play live on Twitch, so use the links down below to catch me live as well, and if you enjoyed the video, watch more on the channel and leave a like. Here we have Sorov playing as the Abbasid in the color blue against 3D Dark in the color yellow playing as the English and the map is Rocky Canyon and this is the first match out of a best of 5 set in the quarterfinal of the second qualifier so who wins this set will be moving on to the Elite Classic main event so these two players one of the best in this qualifying round and they are here to know who is moving on and we see the English player moving for a very early deer and I'm sure they will go for a very early survival techniques as well or a basket player on the other side looking for a bit faster age up perhaps looking for a second or third TC but the English also have a great way to counter the basket play which is they go for a second TC themselves and then they age up in the castle edge with the king's palace giving them three TC's and a way to overturn the economic count in their favor but right now early game going on single scout opening the relics spawned in a fair way the secret sites as well very open base here for our basset player those wood lines are very to the sides the english player has a wood line very close to his tc but the other wood line is very exposed so gotta be careful with that going for the deer being already very exposed as well because the Abbasid player they can age up with the military wing and spawn two archers and two spears, but then the longbows or can be produced very fast from the council hall, which would allow for a very quick defense from 3D Dark over here. But 3D Dark might surprise us and age up with that Abbey of Kings. And we see the economic wing for Sorov, which allow him to research Fertile Crescent, which makes all economical builds, buildings and houses 20% cheaper so easily those second TCs or 30 TCs can come online in the feudal age for our Basset player our English player not going for the farms right now I think this is a sign of early aggression right you have a lot of food or maybe it's a fast castle as well because then you put a lot of people on gold a lot of people on food and when you wage for feudal on feudal age you spend like five minutes if so on feudal age and then you can age up almost immediately Council Hall being dropped near the deer, so no time wasted. Basset player now focusing us as well on wood, already gathering the resources for that second TC. Building the mill, perhaps going for a wheelbarrow. The next deer spot for our English player is even more out in the map. And it's near a board though. So this is a lot of food. A second TC here will be very good as well. Now moving some villagers to wood. The English player, 3D Dark. Looking to produce some longbows perhaps. We'll see if he moves villagers to stone. A bastard player already doing that move. Sort of wants to go for a second TC. Gathering that wheelbarrow as well. A new age begins. And Fertile Crescent. Oh, not enough gold for Fertile Crescent yet. It will be very soon. Five gold left. Let's go. Three builds on stone so far. Because with Fertile Crescent, you need way less stone to edge up, actually. To edge up, no, to go for that second TC. My bad. And no stone being collected. Just a lot of longbows. No, just one longbow. Not enough uh, wood. Okay, second longbow on Q. Those berries and stone are very, very exposed from our Abbasid player. The longbows can easily pick up villagers there. But once, like, one outpost here perhaps can do the trick. Mm, I don't see 
Because then the longbows can just go here or there and that outpost will be useless. Horseman coming in for the basket player. Did he went for not yet for fresh foodstuffs. So not saving food on those villagers. Fertile Crescent? Not yet. No, already picked up. Let's go. And it's a barracks. So it's going to be longbows and spears for our English player. Good way to deal with the horsemen. Already two out on the field for sort of. Longbows starting to weaken that horseman. Horseman jumps on the longbow. Longbows are now attacking faster because of network of castles. Horseman runs away. Third horseman on the queue. Second one arrives on the battlefield. Okay, those longbows are in danger. Pelinx not being activated. Pelinx do extra damage against cavalry. I know, did they just do damage? to cavalry. Second TC from the Basset player can begin online on a great spot near oh near the wood, near the berries and near the gold. Already five longbows for our English player and three spears. And we don't see any archers so those spears alone will be able to take care of those horsemen. Oh, no 30C being planned by our Abbasid player. No second TC for the English player. Second TC for sort of already coming in online really shortly. Oh, longbows coming in there, guys. They take care of the wolf. They can attack the villagers. But I'm pretty sure this town center will go up. Horsemen also riding on the other side of the map. But villagers are now shooting. To the horsemen. Horsemen doing damage. Now running away. They killed one villager there. Uh oh. TC attacking the longbows. Need to be careful. Both players here losing one villager. But Sarov is on two TCs. So the advantage will be for him. Interesting, interesting. Seven spears already. For 3D Dark, sort of now adding in the archers. And if he has enough archers, he will be able to kill these spears very quickly. Oh, villager coming in forward. Need to drop an outpost. Yes, it is. Trying to give that plus extra attack speed to all the English military units. I think even villagers shoot faster. So I think all the units, even siege, attack faster under network of castles. Scout attacking the villager. So sort of is aware of that villager going forward. Longbow's trying to do more damage, but not happening. Sort of applying good pressure here. Villager will go down. Spear running around trying to, to get the horseman, but is not possible. And villager goes down. Great work from Sorov. Second TC under pressure already. No, it didn't lost any other villager. But the longbows <laughs> were almost all killed. These ones here in the middle of the map. Villager goes down. Horseman almost goes down. He's still alive. More military for three dark. Now up to ten spears. But sort of coming with ten, uh, with seven archers, three on the queue, can be able to just pick the spears and the horsemen kill the longbows. And if you have enough archers, the longbows are not a threat as well, because the archers move faster than longbows, so you can just use that movement speed to catch up to the longbows. Alright, sort of moving out, trying to do some good damage here. Archers attacking the spears and the scout. Doing good damage on the longbows. Not enough longbows here. Spears coming in. That's not a good move. Spears will go down real quick here. Archers are also going down. A 
All right, good damage there on the longbows. The horsemen are very hesitant, I know. These spears can still do a lot of damage. Outpost will coming up, giving that nice extra attack speed. English going now, through the dark now, going for those even forward, more forward. Uh, Veer spawn now going for a stone himself, collecting some stone. Maybe to, looking to go for a second PC, perhaps it's a bit too late. Sorok is almost 10 villages ahead. But the military numbers, very healthy for 3D Dark. Do we see some rams? We, we don't have siege engineering, right? We have the blacksmith. Where Where is the blacksmith? Oh, there we go. No, siege engineering already researched. So rams can come in anytime soon. Outpost trying to be built on the wood line. That will be a great point for, of attack for 3D Dark. Oh, some villagers are idle over there, for sort of. Oh, horseman raid, trying to do some good damage there. Let's see if sort of can pull it off. Sort of now, ten villagers ahead. Horsemen start moving. No, they stop again. English army trying to look. To get some villagers, but they get repelled by TC fire. Sort of paying attention. Horseman now ready to go. They're going. Many times being added to the composition. Horseman will just go around. The longbows take a good shot, but that's it, all they can do. English army doing some good damage. Outpost is completed. First ram is completed. Out of position. Horseman go in. Spears were sleeping, but they wake up in time. Now sort of killing off the reinforcements. And taking down those spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a fast for the horsemen. Only three spears left. Only two spears left. Last spear goes down. And now it's too easy for the horsemen to pick up, to pick up these longbows. Longbows try to go into the outpost. But only four of them survive. Oh, and remember, that sort of was killing the reinforcement, so there is no reinforcement for 3D Dark, right? Now sort of cleaning the towers, building his own ram. Remember that the Basi does not need to research siege engineering, they can build rams out of just pure wisdom. They are connected to their spirit, and they remember how to build stuff. Let's go, horseman looking to destroy that ram. But now they go for the longbows. Archers. Oh, that's a lot of horsemen. Oh, bro. I think horsemen can just kill everything now. Even the spears, right? It's just so many of them. Spears go down easy. Breakfast. And now it's lunch. It's a man at arms. And for dessert, some longbows. These horsemen are well fed. They're eating real good. Now going for the weird snack of an outpost with some arrow slits. And the Basid outpost comes here to claim some territory. Going for the deer as well. And the second outpost. English player now below 15 villagers. And they have half the military supply of the Abbasid player. So sort of overwhelming the English player. And it was all because the spears were slipping. And were not able to take the horsemen down before they snack on the longbows. It is a lot of men, or, or a lot of horsemen. 19 horsemen. Sort of as more horsemen than 3D Dark's total army. Just think about that for a sec. Horsemen just killing everybody. Everybody. And now villagers as well. Everything goes through. These horsemen are powerful. There we go. Killing all the military for 3D Dark. And my friends, I think this is GG. Because there is, not a, there is not a lot of production. These barracks are only now being built. And two spears will not be enough to stop this. Because of the um, archers. And if you build many times, these archers and um, horsemen will be able to take care of it. Okay. Four, four barracks now. GG gets called. 3D Dark knows he can stop the Basit income of units. Guys, if you enjoyed this one... Leave a like and I see you next time and watch more on the channel.
Você estaria lá no Surfer, Surfing Out.